Hi everybody, so I've got some new products that I want to try and see how they work. I'm really excited because I've been waiting a long time for these, so yeah, let's do something fun with it. First I'm going to start with this gel polish. And I'm going to do another one using that one. It's a little bit more transparent, so it needs at least two coats. It's a lovely pale blue. And while that's curing, I'm going to do some mixing. With this lovely glitter. So I'm just going to mix the glitter through the polish. Scoop some up. And I'm going to try and create like an ombre effect. Just like that, and let's cure. And I'm gonna do one more, but I'm just going to work from the center and fade it out. And cure. And I'm going to create a complete overlay on this one. Next, I'm going to just smooth it out with my rubber base. Next, I'm going to apply my Top Jello Cleanse. I want to keep it glossy. I just love this already. Doesn't really need anything more, but I am going to. So I'm going to start with this one, and I've got my 3D Paint White and Black. They're new, so I'm really curious on how they work. So I'm just going to create like a um, snowflake. So 
So it's pretty thick. Grab some of my brush. Great coverage. So you've got to take your time because it's uh, it takes a few seconds just to, um, oh my god, I forgot the word, before it self-levels, that's what I was searching for. Otherwise, uh, you'll get like these stringy things all over your design, but I still haven't cured this, so... That's a good thing. That's cured. Next, I'm just going to place the stall in the center. Like that. So that's done and I think this is a it looks like a no wipe but I'm not quite sure but it doesn't matter always wipe your nails but that's lovely let's move on to the next one so I've got these carving gels and I'm going to use all of them. Starting with the gray. Uh, what I really like about it is that it's really thick. Love that. Some brands are more, I don't know, they're not as Thick, and they don't keep shape that well. I really do not like that. I really want my carving gel to hold shape. Especially when I'm creating like all these. Um, yeah, I can you call it like all these indentations in them? That I really want. I really want them to stay like that. Grab the big one first. Um, maybe not. Maybe the small one. So this is just a silicone tool. Almost forgot. And I'm going to cure that. 
Wow, that's curing. I'm going to grab this orange. It's like a salmon neon color. It's not just orange. It's got like this very light pink tone to it. Last one. Where did it go? <laughs> and that's three. A little bit too big. First I'm going to do some painting and I'm going to use this white paint gel, so I'm really curious because it's really thick if I can use it um, to paint. And I mean not a 3D kind, but just some flat painting. I don't know how to explain, it's different than making thick lines. So that's done, and that went pretty well, so let's create some ice. Okay. Grab some black paint gel. That's too much. <laughs> I dropped my pencil, my uh, darting tool, so... Oh. Try to get as little as possible on my brush. Oh, I want to add some white dots to the eyes, so let's see if that, how that will go.
So let's use this pink. I just I'm just going to stretch it for a bit. Come on, we'll let it go. That's a cute little hat. That's a little bit too big. Where did I leave this bow? Oh, it's over there. I didn't press it on enough, I think. But I'll just fix that.
it's not cured and I've got this bow obviously you could make it yourself but I'm just going to use this one and just press it inside the carving gel and here they are I think they turned out really lovely so yeah really happy with these products really like the carving gel really like the structure it's not um, too thin it's just nicely and thick and you can really sculpt it easily so really happy with it really like the painting gel too it's highly pigmented and really holds its place too when you're painting so yeah and obviously you can do some other stuff with it and looking at it i think it's a no wipe painting gel i still need to wipe it but um it dries glossy as you can see so yeah really hope you've liked this video thank you so much for watching and i wish you all a very good day bye